Based upon the book of the same name by the author Kom Toibin, Brooklyn is a romantic drama set in the early 1950s about a young Irish woman who has to immigrate to the U.S. due to an extreme lack of opportunities in her home country. Produced by a myriad of smaller production companies, little was known about the movie until its premiere at the Sundance Film Festival in 2015, after which a bidding war for distribution rights for the movie ensued. While the film was a success at the box office and rode to great critical acclaim, including three Academy Award nominations, there are still many who don't know about this film or really have no basic idea about the movie. Such was my case when my uncle sent me the film. Something in the back of my mind remembered hearing about this movie, but I had no idea what this movie was about. Part of this may be because of the movie's lack of star power, and while Domhnall Gleeson and Jim Broadbent are in the movie, their roles are secondary. That is perfectly okay, as the movie is instead carried by the leads of Emery Cohen, and most especially by Saoirse Ronan. Ronan plays Ailish, a young Irish woman who lives in the small town of Enniscorty with her mother and older sister. From the very beginning, we can tell that Ailish is definitely a black sheep in her community. She is unable to find employment except for a weekend job at a general store ran by an absolute wretch of a woman. Ailish seems to only have one real friend, and she isn't the least bit keen on any of the local men. In fact, she writes them all off as the same in their blazers and hair oil. Her sister Rose knows that there is no future in Essex Corti for Ailish, and is able to get her a sponsor to be able to go to America. Within the span of a few minutes, we are already able to connect with Ailish on a deep personal level, even though we know very little about her personally. We already want her to succeed, and we feel her heartbreak as she says a wordless goodbye to her family and leaves everything she has known. For me personally, Ailish's story transported me into how it must have felt for anyone who came to America. The great fear of the unknown, the ever-present shroud of uncertainty, the hope of a better future but still with their spirit deeply intertwined in their past home. This is the American experience we all share, from modern day immigrants to the first settlers thousands of years ago. It is the thread we share that weaves us into the tapestry of America. I am deeply moved and indebted to all of the brave and intrepid people who over the millennia have risked everything to make a better life for themselves and their families. I don't want to spoil too much of the story as philosophically there isn't too much to try to pry open and analyze. Brooklyn is a very emotional story and it tells its story in a very open way that doesn't allow for a lot of overthinking. The movie does, however, gives us an ample amount of things to reflect upon. One reflection is the personal growth that Ailish goes through. Needless to say, Ailish is a naive and nervous wreck on her boat trip to America, but she is shown the ropes when an experienced Irish woman takes Ailish under her wings. By the end of the film, on a return trip to America, Ailish takes another naive and nervous young Irish woman under her wing. The beauty of seeing Ailish's growth was absolutely stupendous and made my heart glow. Seeing that circle come complete was great storytelling. It may feel that I am jumping around quite a bit, but to be honest, Brooklyn is still a romance movie, and there are many familiar paths that it treads, including a love triangle. Not that it diminished my enjoyment of the movie, I just found the parts of the movie dealing with Ailish's personal growth to be more impactful. We witness the steady growth of Ailish as she becomes less and less the shy, quiet, melancholy, and out-of-place woman she was when she first arrived in Brooklyn. We see the importance of having people who care about you, through the sacrifices of Ailish's sister and the mentorship of her sponsor, Father Flood. We watch the importance of hard work as Ailish is enrolled in night classes to become a bookkeeper as she doesn't want to work at a department store for the rest of her life. Ailish continues to forge a new identity in America when she meets Tony Fiorello at an Irish dance. They eventually become romantic and their romance is quite sweet and enjoyable to watch. Tony is a pretty good character, and the scene where Ailish meets his family is an absolute hoot. An event does take place that requires Ailish to go back to Ireland, and Tony is afraid he will lose Ailish. The tension of this is good, but it does lead to one of my gripes about the movie. It should be noted that there is a sex scene in the movie. While it is heavy on the innuendo rather than just showing everything as some movies are wont to do, I found its inclusion to be rather unnecessary. It didn't add anything to plot or the romance. It seems that nowadays a sex scene is just a requirement for every romance movie. 
It is a stupid, majorly overplayed trope that blemishes an otherwise great movie. I also didn't care much for the love triangle, another overused trope. Although, unlike the sex scene, it did add something to the movie. I just was not the biggest fan of it. The movie was directed well enough, though, that the love triangle wasn't the only tension that was used that left us wondering if Ailish was going to return to America or stay in Ireland. To be perfectly honest, any issues I had with the movie are quickly forgotten by the last 10-15 to 15 minutes of the film. Brooklyn does more with that chunk of time than many films achieve in their entirety. It makes us reflect on the wavering of the human heart, the need to be accepted, the pettiness of humanity, how we question ourselves about our desires, how we judge others by appearance, how we can lose ourselves in material things, and about how quick we can be to forget. There is so much to dive into with the ending of Brooklyn, but it is really personal and not general, so my musings on the matters would be of little benefit. I would instead encourage you to go on the journey yourself and reflect upon what you are seeing. In the end, Brooklyn is a visually and musically beautiful film that allows us a glimpse into the past that needs to be remembered. The well-written story and wonderfully acted characters ask us to reflect upon ourselves. The romance is well done and suffers from typical tropes, but never enough to break the immersive experience. The emotion runs high in this film, and Elish Lacey is, in my opinion, one of the best movie characters of this decade. That it was my semi-in-depth opinion of Brooklyn. But truthfully, what is yours? What did you take away from your viewing experience? What moved you? Be sure to comment and let me know. Please like and subscribe. But most importantly, thank you for watching. This is the Outcast Writer signing off. And just remember that what we create matters.